What's up guys, welcome back for another video. So as you guys saw, the Big Gun Dual Exhaust finally came in for my 2014 Raptor 700. So right now I'm just running the stock exhaust with the baffle out. And I chose to go with the Big Gun Dual Exhaust because in my opinion, it's pretty much, and from what I've read online, it's pretty much the best exhaust if you're just gonna do the big three. I don't plan on doing a big poor kit or a cam or anything on this. There are obviously better exhausts, better dual exhausts out there like the Barker Duels, um, and others that are that are better performance wise, but if you're just gonna do the big three, a big gun dual exhaust is pretty much the best bang for your buck. All right, so let's go ahead and do a before. So this is just my stock exhaust with the stock baffle removed. So let's go ahead and start the quad up, let you guys hear what it sounds like. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got in the box. All right, so I just opened up one of the first packets and found something interesting that I'm gonna share with you guys. So um, this is the instructions and at the bottom they have dyno graphs. So um, on the left here is the horsepower and on the right is the torque numbers. So obviously the bottom line right here is the stock horsepower which comes out at, you, probably, you guys probably can't read it, but it's 45. And then with the big gun dual exhaust, they claim to have dynoed at 53.5 horsepower, which is like an eight horsepower increase, which I'm kind of skeptical because that's a pretty big number to increase your horsepower by, but uh, we'll see. Um, and on the right here is the torque. So they went from 38 foot pounds to 45 again, like that's a 20%, almost 20% increase in torque. So pretty big numbers they claim, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm probably not gonna show you guys the whole installation process of this exhaust just because it's super straightforward. All we're gonna be doing is removing uh, two bolts here on one header and then um, two bolts on the other header over there. Pretty straightforward and then we're obviously gonna remove any other bolts along the way to remove the old exhaust system. And then we're just gonna follow the directions that were included. They seem like pretty good directions. Like I said, it's a pretty straightforward process. But let's go ahead and look at what we got in the box again. I just want to take a look at the quality. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Um, you know, it's probably not like top notch as a Barker dual system would be or some of the others that are more expensive, but this is a few hundred dollars less than those systems. Um, you know, the welds are good. I don't really see any mistakes. Um, you know, the paint's good. I, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far, but we'll have to see what kind of horsepower gains we get and how easy the install goes. So let me just go over how to remove the old exhaust system very quickly. We have a six millimeter Allen right here, and then you have 12 millimeter uh, bolts to remove this exhaust, and then you have your 12 mils up here to remove your header. Um, again, these are exhaust bolts, so don't be alarmed if they're really tight. Mine are really tight and they make a cracking noise when you, know, you crack the bolt loose, so don't be alarmed by that. And I'll get back to you guys when I have the stock exhaust system removed. Okay, so the stock exhaust is removed. It went pretty smoothly. I had to remove the, uh, I guess, the left header from the main header. So just make a note of that. And I also wanted to mention um, there are two gaskets, one in each port. Make sure that you don't damage them. This is what they look like. Um, clean them up, put them back. Don't lose them. They're important. So let's go ahead and install the new system. Okay, guys, so we have the right header installed here. Um, it went very easy, it took about five minutes, just bolted on the two studs. Just wanna give you guys a quick look at which end goes in the engine, just make sure there's no confusion. The thick end obviously goes on your engine and then the other end will bolt to, bolt to the rest of our pipes. So let's go ahead and install the next header. All right, so the right pipe is fully mounted. Um, just a couple things. It actually mounts to the rear bolt of your grab bar. I thought it mounted there for a few seconds before I read the directions, but it actually mounts here. Um, so take that bolt out of your grab bar, mount your pipe like that. And another thing is this does not rotate on your pipe very well when you have it like when you have your pipe fully inserted in your muffler. So kind of take things and line them up in the correct orientation you want them and then fully put your pipe into your muffler. That helped me a lot. So I'm working on installing a left pipe here and one of the problems that I'm running into are these wires down by your shifter side. So what I did was I zip tied them out of the way for now and what I plan to do is buy some heat tape or some heat shielding um, to kind of cover these wires to make sure they don't get melted by the exhaust that's coming down on the left side of the quad now. So I'll let you guys know after I get the left side installed and we'll go from there. 
Okay guys, we have the last pipe on. The left pipe is definitely the hardest, uh, more challenging installation of the two, but we got it, it took just a little bit longer. Um, the two clearance issues, the wires, which I already mentioned, and I'm gonna get some heat shielding for these just to prevent any melting or issues there. And then the second clearance issue is with the um, shock reservoir, which I think there's about 3 sixteenths of an inch gap between your reservoir and your pipe. As long as they're not touching, it's okay. I might try to adjust some things around just to get a little bit more clearance there, but it's okay for now. I haven't started the quad yet, so let's go ahead and do that now and let's see how it sounds. All right, first start. Oh my god. So my first impressions of the exhaust is that it's completely changes the quad. Um, I haven't rode it yet. Obviously, I'm going to do that next. I'm going to make another video for you guys about that. It'll be like a little review. But um, so far, I love the way it sounds. It completely changes it. It's way deep, deeper, way throatier. Completely changes the look as well. I love the red exhaust tips. Looks absolutely sick. All right, so pretty much the last thing I have to do is I have to go online and find a new map for the quad. So like, since we installed the new dual exhaust, it completely changes the engine back pressure and everything like that. So I'll have to go, on, go online, find a new map, tune the quad, and that'll help me kind of take advantage of um, like the extra horsepower and torque that we're gonna get with this exhaust. Besides that, I might look into getting an FCI intake. It's a couple hundred bucks, but that's the last thing I have to do. Right now, I'm just running a stock air filter with the lid off the box. So, intake's the last step, but besides that, I'm, I'm super stoked on the exhaust system. It turned out great. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button below, and I will see you guys next Saturday. I'm also going to throw a couple links in the description below for some different dual exhausts if you guys want to check them out. Um, if you're interested in like the budget dual exhaust, the big gun is definitely the way to go. If you're just going to do the big three, which is the power commander, exhaust, and intake. If you're going to do more mods than that, there are better performing dual exhausts like such as the Barkers, the Monster, uh, DMC I think is also one that people like. But uh, I'll throw those links in the description below if you guys want to check them out.